Hi, my name is Mike Haddock, and today I'm going to do a review on the brand new Tone Master Deluxe Reverb Amp. Now, I play the guitar, banjo, and fiddle, and I go through the same amp. So, first thing, we had to play this little Christmas party. I'm going to show you one minute of us playing live, and then I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. So, I got my amp here. Joe's got his Deluxe Reverb. Yeah. Tube job. Same thing. He's got it all set up and uh, gonna play and see how it sounds. took it out at that little Christmas party and I'm sold. It sounded just like a tube amp. If nobody told me, I couldn't tell the difference. So, I always had a Dulux Reverb, but it was always broke. And they're heavy. This one I could just pick up like this. Now, I always played out of a twin, and twins are great. And uh, they have a treble, a middle, and a bass where the Deluxe don't have it. And because it didn't have it, I had to use a little equalizer for my fiddle because I don't have a middle to control it. So okay, let's take a look at it. We know this is not a tube amp. It's, I don't know how they do it, computer generated or what, but it has the same thing. It has my controls right here and on top, because I'm play, I don't play out of the same amp all the time, that's the settings for my banjo right there. That's the settings for the fiddle. It's the only thing I gotta change when I'm uh, playing out live, that's for my guitar, but if I'm playing the twin, they might be a little bit different. So as far as the front of the amp goes and everything, uh, it's the same thing. Now let's look at the back. So let's look at the back of the amp. First thing is, you got the new type of plug-ins, not like the old one. Then you got your power switch and your mute, your mute switch. So you move over to here and it has full 22 watts or 12 watts because you know when you're playing out and you're in a real small place and you want to get the most out of it and you know like a tube amp has to really have volume to push you can get it with a small 5 watts or if you're recording or whatever you want I just leave it at the full 22. Over here you have the going out so when you got that and you're plugging it in it goes right into your PA head over there. So this is what you use instead of using a microphone because I have a microphone right over here on the twin. You see the way I had that all set up? But here I don't have to use it and it worked fine. This is a ground lift. If you're getting hum you can press that button. I guess it'll go away. This is the volume that goes out into here to see how much it is. And this is a cabinet simulator. I think this is a flat response. One is a certain cabinet and two. I had it on one and it was fine. So the last thing to show you, it comes with a foot switch and a cord that goes into the foot switch right there. And that's for your tremolo and reverb, which I never use it. Uh, how many songs do you use uh, tremolo on? So if I'm just going to file this away. Now let me show you the directions and I'll give you my final thought. So it comes with a nice little direction book, and uh, you can probably look it up on the internet. Now, I always have fenders. I have three fenders, two twins, and I got a deluxe. The last deluxe I had was like a 1970. I even had a middle put on it, but it was always broke. It was always in the shop. It was always buzzing. It was always humming. So I figured I'd take a chance on this, and I'm really satisfied. The thing about Fender is because I play a lot of instruments, if I go to a different country, I played China and I played uh, Europe and they ask you what do you want, I want a Fender Twin, I plug everything in, they put the microphone in front of it, I'm done. So 
Ever since I went to Fender, I never, I never really played anything else. I played them all, though. I played the Marshalls and the Voxes and the, and all that stuff, PVs, and some of were decent. But I'm a Fender guy. So if it was, if I had to buy it again, I'd buy it again. And if this works out well, I think I'm gonna get one. As far as the Fender Twin goes, I'll see how it goes in the summer. I'm going to show you one more thing because I play uh, my little stand and how I box up my instruments. So I'm going to show you my guitar stand here. It's just a piece of PVC and it's a speaker stand and I put it here and it's easy to grab you know across from the instruments nothing's laying on the ground. And I built this about 30 years ago. I put my banjo, my fiddle and my guitar in it. Close the case, it's up on wheels and that's it. I'm gone.